times right now are nothing like they used to be. Times right now are nothing like they used to be. I tell you the truth, but you don't want my word from me. I've seen better days, and now I'm putting up with these. I've seen better days, and now I'm putting up with these. I had a way better time with the women down in New Orleans. Cause I'm from the country, she thinks that I am easy to rule. Cause I'm from the country, she thinks that I am easy to rule. She wants to hitch me to a wagon and drive me like a mule. Steve's gonna take the dents out of this pan, Detroit green as close as possible. It's got little dings in it here and there, but Steve's gonna try to get them out and uh, you might think we're foolish for that. Here's the uh, Phoenix uh, flange that we put for uh, the turbo, uh, the drain back into the oil pan. And it's really kind of metal welding. Um, anyway, here, here comes Santa Claus. What I'm going to do, there's some uh, dents in this pan. Oh, oh. What I'm going to do is there's a few dents in this pan, and I'm going to try to get them out. Like right here see that right there is a dent and then right over here there's someone tried to fix that I guess there was a pretty good sized dent in there but anyway I'm gonna get this dent out there's another one Out right here, a little bit. All right. Did you see how it looked from over there? Yeah, I don't like the. Well, here's your coffee. Oh. I do what you want me to, even if you don't ask. Well, that's very special. So we're here fixing it with the long bros again. See that crease right there? I do. And there's a dent right there, and then there's, this is out. See how that's pushed out? Yeah, I'm sure people like are going to Something get, hit there. Somebody's going to go down there, and they're going to oh, get I on am. their knees and hands. I am. And they're going to do push-ups underneath this engine. And they're going to look at this and go, there's a crease in that. I don't want this. <laughs> I'll tell you what, it's going to be the most beautiful <laughs> thing sitting in a garage and we're going to have a beautiful engine sitting in our garage. Try to be quiet when you're hitting that. <laughs> My makeshift uh, tools. in like that. It's dented from the outside in. So if you take, I don't have all the tools I used to have, but if you take something solid like what I'm doing, the table's solid. So I'm trying to push it down. And this is kind of curved, which is good. So just 
trying to poke it out a little bit. See, that's going to crease right there. Get this uh, sandblast. I don't want to do that or not. Still some dents right there. Nobody's going to see that. <sighs> But just for fun. See, I don't know if you can see it. There's a crease right there. Can you get sentences of the part of More hands. Seventy years old. <laughs> Seventy years old. Sand all this, paint it. When it was put on there the first time, but I think. It's an oil band. I'm gonna go get it uh, sandblast. What are you doing? Uh, I just sandblasted this this pan. I got it. I sandblasted it. Now I'm uh, gonna get ready and I'm gonna bundle some stuff. I pounded it out, as you saw. This big dent right here, and this was actually pushed out right here. So this went in. This came out a little bit. I'm just gonna lightly bondo it. If you're gonna do anything you need to do it lightly. Well, if you're bondoing 
don't do it thick because it'll crack and then you will be sorry you did it thick. So you got to pound it out and take the dents out as best you can and then lightly bondo. So this has uh, fiberglass strands in it. We'll see how it goes. Never did it before. What is that? What's that? Bondo, you say? Yeah, bondo with fiberglass strands. So we'll see. Oh, well that'll probably make it hold better. This is the resin that activates the bondo and hardens it. The little, so you gotta add your resin to the bondo. And I got all this stuff, but I didn't want to go look for it, so I bought some more. Go get some paint. I was gonna go get some paint and uh, use my spray gun, but I don't know if I'm gonna do that. I might just just use use this spray can. What the hell? Okay, uh, what you can see is I've uh, found little dents, little baby dents, and they're baby dents now. I've pounded some of them out as, as you saw. And then these things I pounded out, there's some of those were pretty good little size dents. And this was a pretty good size dent, pounded it out, you can see the high and low spots. Um, I'm just going to put a small coat on there of uh, Bondo and then I'll use a lot of primer also to uh, to fill in what the Bondo does. And we'll, we'll just uh, make it look kind of good. <laughs> uh, there you see a little crease. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little crease. There's some, uh, that was a pretty good sized dent in there. And I pounded it out, and we'll smooth it out uh, as quickly as we can. So there's another, little, that was a pretty good dent. I pounded it out from the inside and, and uh, put a hard surface against it so it wouldn't go out too far and then uh, this isn't as much as I would do on a car if I was doing that, but uh, we'll see how this turns out. It's just a oil pan for my 1952 Silverside Greyhound bus. GMC 4103, PD 4103. So anyway, just some things we're doing. See, there's a, just going to make it look a little nicer, a little more uniform. <laughs> I know you think I'm crazy. Okay, <clears throat> I'm gonna work on this spot first. So let's uh, as you see it's a big area. This was a pretty good sized dent in there. It goes all the way. So I pounded that out. Remember, I sandblasted it, and also I sanded it. Uh, might be some high spots in there, but like I said, this is just a oil pan on a 1952. So I'm gonna get the wax and grease remover on that, just to. Uh, Get my hand prints off there so it sticks a little better and uh, well, just just a little bit of precaution which will help out a bunch of longer so we're just going to clean it up a little bit and then I'm going to start I'm going to mix up the bondo And uh, see, that feels a little high to me right there, but what the heck? That too, right here. I don't know. We'll see. Let's we'll see how it turns out. This is a pretty good sized spot. It'll be fun.
We'll have fun with this one. See how it turns out. Okay, all right. That's enough for right now. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, this is the Bondo. And it's got fiberglass in it, they tell me. Never used it. We'll see what happens. I don't know. I got Bondo out there, but it's not in my garage. But, I mean, I've had it for, I don't know how long. So I'm sure it's no good. Plus, I couldn't find any resin to put in it, the hardening system. So, we'll just see how this goes. I don't know. So, my writing's so small in here, I can't read it. So, I'm just going to do it like I used to. Nice buttery, I guess. More of that uh, resin or hardening compound you put on here, the harder it gets, the faster it gets harder. <laughs> so, and I got a lid that I'm going to use on one of my... <laughs> I don't think you're going to need too much. I used to just put a dot on there. A little dot. Might be too much. That might be too much, folks. Ooh, maybe too much. Pretty hard and pretty quick. I've done a lot of this work over the years. Been years though, years and years since I've done it. I have my own body shop. Just uh, for a little while. Did a lot of cars though. That's not what I did mainly. It's too much work. And I didn't like breathing all the paint fumes and everything. So that worried me and didn't want to ruin my lungs. Plus it was a lot of work and it didn't really make that much. I, mean, I didn't think. Not for what you had to do. Alright, I'm gonna spread this out on there. Out there and it's too cold. It's cold outside. Hopefully we get this done the first time enough, but not too much, just right, just like porridge. See that looks a little high right there. So I think I can do this right here. Yeah. 
crease right there. Oh, see, it's hardening already. See that crease right in there? It just kind of go over like that. I'm going to sand this by hand, I think. Just smooth it out some, then use a primer to do the rest. than I'd like, but uh, it makes you work faster, doesn't it? See, I don't have all the, I don't remember how I used to do it, but I used to, I think I just used to put it in all kinds of crap. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes. Getting harder, you can see. I could start sanding it now, but I don't want to. I'll wait a few. Wait a few minutes. I'll start lightly. I think that's going to look pretty good right there. That little crease that was there. And this will look fine too. About 10 minutes. I'll sand it down. I'll do it one at a time so uh, I'm in no big hurry. And then we'll primer it and uh, see how all that works out. There's dents there, dents on the corners. Like I said, I already pounded them out a little bit. Yeah. Hey, Okay. Maybe a hair right here, right here, and right here. And of course, a little dense along over here. We'll get that in a little bit. Pretty good though, not too bad. Now let's see how this side turns out. I'm gonna knock it down quicker. doing that you can't feel it I like to feel it <laughs> and this is a this is a freaking oil pan folks freaking oil pan folks <laughs> pretty good. This is a little low right there I think. For sure. 
So I think the primer will do the trick. It's not going to be perfect and I don't care. Oh, I'd like for it to be perfect. But... I don't want to spend a week on this, that's... Uh, go around feels pretty good there's a dent here uh, I'm going to bring all this up a little bit um, here because this needs to go out to here right in here so I'm going to go bring it out Bring this up in here. So I'll bring it all the way here, 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 there, there, there. I think I'll put some here. There's a little dent there. Little dent right there. Good. So I'll finish this one and then I'll move on to some other dents. But we're doing pretty good, I think. All right, I'm gonna mix up some more Bondo. You don't need to watch that. Nothing that can read. So safe. sand a little bit of it. It's been drying for about 30 minutes or so.
good I could do more but a primer is gonna primer will fill that up But I think that's going to be good enough. Okay, I'm going to start sanding it. Sand it, smooth it out, put some primer on it, then paint it. That's all there is to it. We're just going to program. It's an oil pan. <laughs> For God's sake. Here we go. <laughs>
really just go on and on forever. Well, we're gonna cut wood out here and we're gonna paint. First piece of plastic, I'm gonna go on this board here. This looks like a kill room for Dexter. Yeah, I thought about that. <laughs> well, this is all the stuff we don't want to just destroy. Watch your light back here. Gotta get it on the other side of that light. Looks like a kill room to me, Michael. Makes the room a lot smaller, huh? What are you doing? Well, we're gonna spray this with primer. Did the body work on it. Now we're gonna spray it with primer. Just the spots that I've on. Or I might, I might spray the whole thing. know where I did my work. Turn that in the other direction. You want to flip that? Walk. I could go on this thing forever probably a long time. It would be. <laughs> That's going to be one of the best looking oil pans on a 
probably go see you guys. Scratches in it, big gouges in it. Dents right there. See the dents? Yeah. Look at the big gouge on it. Dent right there. Big dent right there. It's not going to get them all. Well, it's not a showpiece for them. Plus. Not the hood of the car or anything. This this uh, primer will be able to take a lot of stuff out of it. Looks better than it did. That's for sure. How'd you miss that? I knew there was a bunch of dents in it, and I just said, I'm not going to do this forever. <laughs> it's a pan. This is a bad one right here. It looks good. Yeah, it was all dented in, like, way in there. Also, it's creased and dented. See, look at that. See, it was just dense everywhere. They called you Flipper. Flipper. Faster than lightning. No one you see is smarter than he. You know that Flipper lives in a world full of wonder. Lying there under, under the sea at steam. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Mike. Thanks for the song. Sell this engine for four hundred and eighty-six thousand dollars. I don't. You'll do it. I won't. I don't. Then I won't. You missed this part up here.
lights on the sides of this establishment. You know, like a paint booth, like I had. Yeah. Still, you, you still couldn't see some things. Well, that's because you're blind. Don't blame it on the lights. Stay tuned. Mike's going to go on, on the Survivor. They did a like a vibration dance on. Leave that here going let that drive back.